Good morning. I uh, slept down enough tonight, or last night. Um, not sure if it rained or not, but it was relatively quiet. Um, my uh, legs bothered me a little bit while I was sleeping, like my hip. So I gotta kind of figure out the best way to lay to be able to um, be more comfortable. So I am, um, I'm gonna start getting myself organized, get out and uh, make some breakfast. I think I'm gonna do biscuits and gravy this morning. It's one of my all time favorites. And then uh, start hiking. So I, um, here's my nap out. So I have my little nap right here about where I'm going. And um, I think I'm gonna go to Laurel Falls today. If I can make it that far, it's 13.5 miles. So about double what I wrote today. But the train doesn't look like it's going to be quite as difficult. So hopefully um, I can do that. If not, I think there's a couple of campsites a little bit closer. So that is the plan. I really kind of thought I'd get up a little bit earlier. Um, and then I fell asleep again. So I took advantage of uh, some of the sleep. It's 7.30 right now. So hopefully I'll be up and out before 8.30. So I'll talk to you soon. We have blue skies. Everything looks like it's in good order. I don't know if that stuff's wet or not. We'll find out. Okay, time to get this game started. Okay, well, the tent is put away. I'm uh, cleaning up my chores, and my breakfast today is going to be, like I said, biscuits and gravy. And so that's what it looks like. It's really good though. So, well, I've eaten my breakfast, got everything packed up for the most part. Just have to brush my teeth, pack in a la last few items, and hopefully I'll be on the trail by nine instead of eight. Even got to brush my hair a little bit. So, almost done and uh, ready to pack it up and start my day. So, 13 miles, 13.2 miles, I think, is the goal. We'll see what happens. All right. Okay, it is 9.08, so I'm a little bit later than I wanted, but packing out of camp. Uh, everything is picked up and it's time to get moving. So, I'm gonna start my watch and uh, get moving. Hold on a second. Okay, watch is started. I'm leaving the Camp Trail campsite. Um, last night was an okay night of sleep. I feel rested, even though I tossed and turned a lot and uh, the noises weren't too disturbing. So that's always what keeps me up at night sometimes. I do have to walk in wet socks and wet shoes. I was gonna put dry socks on, but um, I figured that would be useless if I was gonna put them in wet shoes. So that was my theory, but I'm hoping that if my shoes dry out, maybe later on I can change them out and let these bad boys dry a little bit. I don't know that I'll get to camp too early because I've got, I think, 13 miles to go. I think I'm going to be doing a little silk blazing today, which means I'll be the one knocking down all the spider webs. But that's okay. I'm kind of curious to see what the terrain's going to be like. Um, breakfast was good. I uh, really took my time. It's like an hour and a half to break camp, eat breakfast, and uh, get on my way. So it's time to uh, get this hike on. I'm going through a tunnel of uh, rhodod rhododendrons right now. So 
so it seems kind of dark and eerie, but I'll turn around and let you see. Hold on. There you go. So, looks much lighter on your end of the video, but it's kind of dark and eerie. So, I just noticed in the video that my collar's flipped inside, so I need to fix that so I don't look like a sloppy person. Pickers don't have to be sloppy, do they? Well, just came Sasquatch Mountain. And there's a Palmetto Trail that I didn't know about. There's a sign back there. But we came from Table Rock. And I had into Sassafras, but I think I'm going to walk over here and just see what this sign says. One of my goals is not to rush, but just enjoy. Okay. This is the Round Top Mountain Passage. I guess that's there, right there. Takes you back over to um, Table Rock. Looks like there's the Foothills Trail right there. So I'm heading this way. So it looks like I have one mile to Sassafras Mountain. So that's kind of exciting. I have uh, seen lots of pictures of that in some video of through hikers hitting the Sassafras Mountain and being in South Carolina and North Carolina right in the border. So that'll be a nice way to start the morning. I was a little sore and stiff this morning. When I woke up, but I'm feeling better now. It took a little time to stretch. I think I'm gonna try to make that a habit once I pick my tent up to use my Tyvek as a little stretching pad. And hopefully that'll loosen my muscles up. I probably should do the same thing at night when I set my Tyvek down before I set my tent up. Let's see how that works. I want to do a shout out to Taz, the guy who dropped me off. Um, left some trail magic with some water at the Sassafras Mountain uh, Trailhead. So thank you, Taz. Much needed. Saves me from using the water that I have in my uh, little pouch here. So thank you. God bless. Okay. Just got to cross Sassafras Mountain Observation Tower. North Carolina and South Carolina. We're going to go up to the top of the observation. Take a look at all these mountains. It's a beautiful range. Look at this. Okay, well, only 66 miles to go. I um, was looking, my gosh, the mountains. Look at this. This just doesn't do it justice. But as Taz was driving me to Table Rock, I was thinking, my gosh, that's a long way. But it's just a little bit of a day. So. I have 13 miles today, so I should be in 50-something miles to go after today, which kind of is crazy, but it seemed like such a long way to get to my starting point. I just kind of wondered, like, am I crazy? But I'm excited. So I keep on hearing all these bees buzzing around, and, uh, they're pollinating everything, so I guess that's a good thing. 
All right, back into the woods we go. Out of sassafras. Well, I'm going downhill for sure, which only means one thing. I'm gonna go back uphill. But I am uh, in this beautiful forest that I'm getting a great breeze on and uh, just chucking along. And uh, it's just so peaceful. I, uh... But I did wanna say, for any of you guys that take the time to watch this, thank you. I, uh, I really just hope to inspire other people to get out here and hike. It's so uh, liberating and empowering. I think that's the biggest thing. I think it's just really empowering and uh, just gives you a, an inner strength that uh, I can't get anymore from playing sports because my body just doesn't move like it used to. Um, I don't know. I don't know how 61 creeped up on me so fast, but it's here and I'm gonna have to embrace it. So this is my new outlet for that. But anyhow, or anywho, as my friend April, or Lynn says, um, yeah, it's good. It's beautiful out here. And uh, the, uh, the music of the trees, the birds, whatever else is humming around, it's really kind of cool. So I, uh, I'm not sure when my big incline is coming. I uh, have a little bit one right here, but it's not much. So anyways, thanks for watching. I hope it inspires you to get out and hit a trail. Any trail, just hit a trail. It's, uh, it's good for the mind, the soul, and the body. So happy hiking. Well, I just came across this bridge and Chimney Top campsite's right here. Flat Rock campsite is 4.1 and I've already gone 4.6 this morning. I'm gonna camel up, fill up my water bottle, and then keep on hiking. Perfect. Full bottle. Look at this trail. It's beautiful. Lined with rhododendrons, covering the trail, off in the trees. It's been pretty quiet since I got on this. I ran into one little family, and other than that, it's just been me. I think I'm getting the time that I thought. I wanted to get some six miles in by 12, and I I believe I did either that or really close to it. So, um, I still think I've got two substantial climbs. I don't think I've hit those yet, but I think they're coming. I keep on saying that, but I uh, haven't seen them yet, so. I'm one sweaty mess. I uh, feel like I just jumped out of a pool. I'm soaking wet. I thought I was going to like this shirt. It's super light, really, really thin, but I just don't think it's what I need. I don't feel like it keeps me cool at all. In fact, I feel warm in it, so I'm going to keep searching for another shirt that will work and see what happens. And I'm not sure about these shoes either. I just bought them. Oh gosh. I have a climb. Um, just bought them while we were in Tennessee 
and um, I thought they felt great, but my arch is starting to give me a little bit of problem, and um, it keeps on hitting up against the outside of my right ankle bone, so I don't know, maybe I was built with low, low ankle bones, uh, bones, man, I can't even talk, and I have a yellow jacket that just died, so there you go. Well, I just did my first part of the climb. Still have quite a bit to go, but I decided there was this really nice log here. So I decided to uh, take a little break and uh, drink some water and um, have another handful of granola, or, uh, trail mix and uh, get going on that climb. It's real. I think my shirt is soaking wet, but it's all part of it, right? Phew! My heart rate's still at 108, and I've been sitting here for a couple minutes. So, all right. Can't get started unless I finish this, so here we go. Okay, well, we are coming up to a campsite, which is going to be my lunch spot today. We are... Yeah, flat rock. I keep on getting these stupid bugs that want to climb on my eyeballs. But lunchtime, here we go. I'm going to head down here for a crossover. This is one of the more uh, trying to say. You hear all that thunder? I still have four more miles to walk. But brand new bridge. Absolutely beautiful. But I haven't gotten wet, but I've had a lot of thunder. Well, I'm dressed for the rain and have my cover on my backpack. Anticipating rain like I did last night. Um, I'll be very lucky if I don't get rained on. Around lunchtime, my socks were finally dry. But, um, yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. I have one more climb, so might not feel that way when I get to the top of that one because I think it's going to be um, pretty unforgiving. And there are the stairs. Can you see them? Um, that I think are going to start my incline. So just uh, cameled up, like I said, and, and now trying to make it to camp before the deluge. I either want to get there before or after, not during. So, wish me luck. So, this is my first waterfall of the hike. It is called Virginia Hawkins Falls. Beautiful. Okay, well, the rain seems to have passed. I'm still hearing lingering things of thunder, but um, I think I have, I don't know, I'm thinking I have two more miles to go. My watch says 11.4 miles, but um, I still haven't ran into that other, um, I looked for the trail. Um, I haven't seen that other campsite yet. So I think it should be coming up really soon. And that will probably tell me how many more miles I have to the one that I'm supposed to be going to. I saw a lady hiking back the opposite direction of me and she said she was heading out towards where I'm going and there were a couple bears out there and she waited for them to move and they weren't going anywhere so she turned around and came back this way so hopefully they have okay oh my gosh I've been so blazing all day long but hopefully they're gone by the time I get up this way I've been clinking my uh, trekking poles together to try to give them fair warning that something 
someone's coming and uh, maybe they'll skedaddle. We'll see. But I'm kind of thinking I'd rather hike through the rain and then have it be done with and then my tent doesn't get soaking wet. So, oh my gosh, another spider web is hanging off my phone now. But probably all over my face too. Ugh. Anyways, as long as the spider's not there, which I don't really know whether it is or not, um, I'm okay. So if you see a spider on my face, yikes. You guys can't see it, but it's all over the place. I need to put one sword, one, one sword, one trekking pole up like a sword, and the other one to walk with. And uh, I kind of like this. And uh, help uh, get rid of the spider webs before the spider webs get me. So, but outside of my feet, um, everything else feels good. I just, like I said, I've just got these shoes. Um, they bother my arch and this, it's all on my right foot. My left foot's okay, but there's like three points on my left foot that are just really nagging me. And, uh, but not anything I can't tolerate. Just would rather have the opportunity to do the hike without that, but. It's not possible. So, I'm trying to do what I can to take good care of my feet so it doesn't cause a problem. All right, let's see what's up ahead. Look at this, first suspension bridge. I think there's a couple of them on here. Ooh, you can feel it bouncing. I think this is going to lower falls if I had my guess. But I don't really have an idea. <laughs> well, I got out of the woods and took a right and uh, ended up going the wrong way because I saw a fence, like a gate, a red gate. And I was supposed to go around that, but I didn't realize that. But here's my second suspension bridge. And uh, I'm right around 12 miles for the day. So. Very cool. Now. Oh, see there. Hot white blaze is a godsend. Okay, we're at Dawkins Flat Campsite and we're going to Laurel Folks Falls Campsite. Point nine, we are almost there. I'm sitting at the top of Laurel Falls. It's going down there. Tomorrow we'll see that. Well, I got all my chores done. I hung my bear bag, I ate dinner. My Alfredo did not turn out, so I basically ate half raw noodles and then had to pour the uh, sauce or whatever which was water into a cup and seal it it's the water it's the little Nalgene bottle I use for my um, breakfast drink so now I'll just have to use one of my water bottles for that until I get a chance to unload that I think there's a bathroom at one of the um, at uh, white water um, and so that's not tomorrow night, but the night before. So <clears throat> I'm going to head to Bear Gap tomorrow, which is 11.6 miles. And um, so that will be my next stop. And um, it's only 7.22, but it's raining outside. So um, yeah, I think I'm gonna read and uh, call it a night. So hopefully some of my clothes will dry from the rain. Um, oh, I had a protein bar 
because I just didn't feel like those little bit of noodles were going to do it. Um, and that's about it. Filled up my water and, uh, and then it started raining. So luckily I had everything done already. Uh, so hopefully that'll be good. That's what I'm hoping. So hopefully I'll get a good night's sleep tonight. And, uh, and I walked through some bushes and I got a weird reaction to it. So I took a Benadryl. So hopefully that helps. And maybe it'll even help me sleep tonight. So I'll see you guys in the morning.